what you have been observed, huh? With them is as gamla melayu, which means to differentiate from the Indonesian gamla. Why gamla melayu? Which mean that we have our own system of gamla music, whereby based on the melody base, but whereas Indonesian gamla is on rhythmic base. So in this case, so the function of a gamla also mainly to accompany the dance, the chords dance which is different, totally different from Indonesian tradition. And also our system of music is also very much different. So now we seem to adapt a Western tempo scale system. Five note scale system, which means that we have to base on Chinese pentatonic scale. So which means that when based on pentatonic scale, West, with regard to the Western temple scale, which means that everybody seems to easy to memorize, and with regard to the pitch system, also the interval system, same similar to what had been practicing in the West, do re mi sol la do, with regard to interval. That's wonderful. Now, uh, how does this translate? We study it here. But how does this translate to the everyday life of the Malaysian? Okay, fine. In fact, you know, due to our not to say experience, in fact, you know, now we seem to have almost all of the secondary school in Malaysia, they have their own gamelan group. Which means that gamelan music is taken part of their academic study. Not to say under music department, but as a co-curricular. Which means that now gamelan music seem to Prosper is very, very encouraging, in fact, and all. So, in our case here, so gamelan music or gamelan subject music is very, I think, the most popular subject matter with regard to the student who takes whatever courses here, so under elective study. Of course, for the major instrument, they have to take gamelan, but for the elective courses, I mean, any student from any faculty can come and study elective subject. In repertoire day, you know, with regard to the composition, or the new composition, we do also encourage our students or the lecturers themselves to produce a kind of contemporary element to suit the modern audience and also to widen our scope of music, gamelan music. How long has this been uh, going on, the program? When did it start? Long time ago? Okay, academically. Academically? Academically, I've seen when the academies SNI, we call ASK. Academy SNI Kebangsaan. But now we turn to Aswara, Academy of Art and Tradition. Uh, of art and heritage. and heritage. So, ever since in 1994, of course, the government subject is becoming a compulsory subject for the student to take it, either uh, as a major instrument or elective subject. So, that was from the ever since it was started in 1994, 1994. until now. Part of it is also coming from government direction and what they see as uh, what is needed about preserving heritage in this country. Well, of course, the, as far as uh, in fact, a cultural center or study center born by the government, all funded by the government, all under government. I mean, uh, uh, I think the decision all might be. Our government is a very, very responsible government. How to preserve where art is concerned, the value system, and also, I think, by doing this, we have to can balance among the science 
arts, tradition, moral, and also spiritual. Wow, that is very well put. So, mm. thank you very much. In fact, we now have this hour. Yes. Because yes. it's our best student, also yeah, best uh, student. Uh, getting the. Apa yang buat apa? Buat apa yang buat apa? Oh, tak ada satu. Tak ada lah. Apa dia? Teruskan je. Kami lagi, kami lagi. Then I should get him to speak. Okay. He is yes. a contemporary gamelan music composer. Oh my In fact, you know. So he has got his own, I don't know, gamelan group nama apa? Hmm? Rhythm, and uh, Rhythm and Bronze. Rhythm and Bronze. He's very wow. really popular in yes. Kuala Lumpur. Besides Aswara, he also has got his own gamelan group outside, which means consisting of, I think the place is uh, not only the Malays, it's this uh, multiracial yes. group. Uh, well, I'd like to find out how did this start with you? And how did it start that you have appreciation of this? Um, for me, uh, as a human, you need to know your roots. So I know my roots by playing the gamelan. So basically, uh, the music that I play, the Malay gamelan itself, have, it has uh, a lot of uh, complexity, as in human complexity itself, because the instrument made by uh, the instrument made by the human itself. So we know the mind and the identity of the human itself musically by the instruments. So, Basically, uh, the way I compose my music uh, are based on the tradition uh, in the Malay Kamilan, and Javanese or Balinese Kamilan and then I incorporated all of them into Western orientation uh, music structure. structure. So, um, a lot of experimented, uh, experiment uh, uh, has to be done so that you at the same time you balance yourself between the tradition and the contemporary at the same time so it is difficult but it's worth it for me how are the people uh, taking it how about your audience how um, is it very encouraging very encouraging basically so for for the youngsters yes for mm. for the the tradition uh, people they quite um, restrain themselves uh, but eventually it became a new, new, new kind of music and then community in Aswara itself. So we used to play new music, uh, new composition of the, for the new students and we encourage them to compose new music based on Gamelan so that at least they can look back to the tradition and then bring what they already have, bring it forward. Wow, wonderful. Exactly. So this is what you're saying, sir. Yeah, and exactly. And we see it now in young musicians. And uh, do you see the future of this going on? And more young people will be what we call strengthening okay. our heritage, your heritage, through the future. In fact, you know, this is if we were to think about the cultural preservation or heritage, uh, pre I think you know, we have not only considered about the local, but we have to think about the global values. Which means that knowing that music is having a, a kind of international language. So I think, you know, by having the gamelan music, by uh, focusing on the instrumentation, the tuning system, which means that based on Western tempered scale and Western tempered species, then which means we have we can create our gamelan music into a kind of symphony to combine with the, all the orchestration instruments, which means that now we are now working toward that aspect to turn our gamelan into a world music view. This is part process. of being able to tell the world 
of course, exactly. Who you are. Exactly. It's now going into different platforms exactly. and making the world hear okay. and listen. Okay. Okay. Exactly. But of course, we never to try to separate or distance ourselves from the tradition because the truth is there. We still maintain, but of course, we are adding new element to suit the uh, the world community and also to upbring our student uh, potentiality for them to encourage them to to have to create a new works based on our gamelan music.